Hey, what's up everybody? I am Undying Blaze and welcome to Beam and G Drive. Yep. That worked. So, Beam and G Drive. It is a awesome game that simulates uh, cars using soft body physics. If you're not familiar with that means, it means that cars in this game are made out of soft bodies that can flex and bend and break. Pretty dang easy. Um, but I think pretty realistically. I mean, I haven't gone around crashing actual vehicles, so I'm not entirely sure exactly how accurate it is, but it looks pretty realistic. So, um, the uh, obvious other side, the, the flip side, uh, would be, um, I don't know if it would even be a flip side, the uh, other end of the spectrum, let's say, is rigid body physics. If you are familiar with the game Turbo Dismount, that's what we're talking about, where everything is solid, even uh, the vehicles, but they're just made out of a bunch of different little parts. Now this is the case with these vehicles, they're made out of different parts, but uh, each part is made from a soft body, and it's just a little bit more... Um, it's like a cloth simulation, um, but just like a lot more sturdy, I suppose. Um, but yeah, and it's all physics. Whatever I do uh, affects the way that the car handles or um, gets destroyed. So, right now, I'm just kind of driving it around and crashing it into stuff. Uh, other episodes will definitely have goals, um, but most of this is going to be just driving around different cars and crashing them into things, which I'm sure nobody is too upset about. Let's try this track a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try devoting some episodes to doing uh, more tracks like this in the future, but um, I haven't practiced like at all, and I really suck. And maybe that's entertaining to you guys, but it's a little bit less entertaining to me. This track is pretty sick. There we go. Especially because I'm doing it with a pickup truck. Oh, crap. Well, there it goes. There it goes. And that's destroyed. That is completely toast. Oh, but it can still drive. Sometimes the trucks will be completely destroyed, but apparently this one can still drive. Um, it looks like the drivetrain, I guess, is intact, even though it's not moving. Oh, well. Anyway, so I'm sure you guys don't want to just see me driving around a pickup truck the whole time. Uh, I, one of my personal favorites is the uh, Gavril T-Series uh, semi-truck. So let's hop in the big one of those, and let's give it a quick look over. It is a pretty dang nice truck, um, and I'm going to ram it into something or drive it off a cliff or something. Who knows? I'm going to do something, and it's going to break this thing, and it's going to be awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. Let's check out the where the wheel is. That'll help my driving quite a bit. I like the graphics of this game. This is a very similar game to Rigs of Rods, which is also a soft body physics simulator, but it has a lot less, um, I guess, notoriety. Maybe it has less notoriety. I would think so, considering how amazing BeamNG Drive is. However, uh, Rigs of Rods, it's rigs as in um, trucks or um, a rigging like um, in animation. I don't know. If you guys if you guys don't know what I'm talking about already, um, then there's not really much point. But anyway, of rods. So it's basically how they simulate soft body physics. I'm not really going to get into that. But yeah, it's, it's really fun stuff. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show off. First of all, these things light on fire. But what I really wanted to show off is that this truck especially has parts that can rip off of it when you do crazy stuff. So let's try doing that... Um, the the flippy barrel roll uh loop de loop thing so let's give that a shot let's be in the cab for this one here we go or at least at the beginning we'll we'll switch out of it as soon as we start falling okay here we go and boom oh my gosh the destruction in this is just amazing wow that's making some weird noises. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's that version, but there's also different versions of this truck. So, I could drive a cement mixer, which is pretty cool. It's pretty dang slow, but let's give that a shot. Let's drive that on the, the twisty course. So, anyway, I love big trucks. They're pretty awesome. But uh, 
I never really wanted to drive one all that much just because I'm not good at backing up with trailers. I'm, I'm amazing at backing up with normal vehicles, but trailers, I could never figure out. I'm sure I'll learn someday, but that is just one thing that I'm not especially skilled at. Um, and you'll notice if I ever have a trailer in any video game, it will probably not stay upright or, you know, in one piece. That's just kind of how it goes. All right, here we go. We're heading up this ramp now. Uh, the tension is building as the newest contestant rises up to the track. He he seems insane, for he is driving a cement mixer on one of the most dangerous tracks known to man. Second most. The most is right behind this one. All right, here we go, and he's off. Here we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> and that's a quick failure for the red cement mixer. Okay, here we go. Let's grab a really fast car. Let's grab, like, this guy. I'm not going to just go in and change all the settings right now. I might customize which cars I want later, but let's just do a nice head-on collision with this. If we can. I think that there's nothing in between the wall and this car now. And then I'll show off my favorite part of this game. The slow motion. <laughs> if you are not familiar with this game, I probably surprised you quite a bit. The slow motion in this game is amazing. Let's get right there and... <laughs> yeah, anyone in there is completely toasted. Alright, and back into full speed. Yeah, they're, uh, they're not alive anymore. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, so there is an amazing slow motion feature in here. Now, I will be downloading mods and playing with them. Um, I have some installed, but I, I switched the versions of BMNG, which is, which wasn't a good idea. Um, and so I lost the mods that I had. So I have to reinstall them, which isn't a big deal. It's actually really easy to reinstall mods in this game. So that's okay. However, I will be um, doing that in the future. Basically, um, there's an amazing one. I think it's called, like, um, the... What is it? The, the Leap of Death or something? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what it was called. But I played on that one quite a bit. I, I remember it by the picture, not by what it's called because uh, it has a little thumbnail and it's just like this massive cliff well I guess it's like a giant like mine like a circular ravine sort of thing it looks like a mine at least I don't know if it is at all because if it is it's definitely decayed over like a long time of not being mined all right here we go this one's fun actually we are a little turned funny let's see if we can get that fixed Nope, I guess we're hitting it with a tire. Welp. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game, though. Oh, look at that. We can still drive. Let's go. Let's let's see what else this car can handle. Probably not much. Let's put it in the little crusher here. All right, here we go. I'm not a, I'm not entirely familiar with the spawning utilities in this game but I'll give it a shot um, I'm gonna go into F8 mode fly over here and then I'm gonna spawn like my favorite thing ever or at least one of them the large crusher which is exceptionally amazing Let's see if I if it'll actually spawn nope here's what we're gonna do we're gonna spawn wait let's try pushing F7 whoops um, that didn't work. Can I not spawn it here? I don't know why it's not spawning right. I could have sweared. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to go back into this vehicle. And then I'm going to click on the crusher and then spawn new. And then we'll just see. Okay, here we go. That's perfect. And then we'll switch over to this car. Let's reset it. Whoop. Okay, let's reset it again. There we go. So let's just pop this car into the crusher. Let's put up the headlights because those are adorable. Whoop. Almost uh, crashed into it there. 
There we go. I like this crusher probably the most. Um, like for the uh, for the reason the most reasonish. Wow, that made zero sense. Okay, um, the largest reason that I like this crusher is that it is transparent. That's what I was trying to say. I cannot believe it took me so long. Okay, here we go. Now let's switch to the crusher. Let's start the crushing. Let's slowly do it. All right, here we go. Because, I mean, what's the fun of crushing something when you can't see it being crushed? All right, and I'll have you know I haven't crushed this car before, so I don't know what's going to happen. Probably the same thing that happens to everything else. It turns into a cube. There we go. And now let's, uh, let's release and see if it catches on fire. Some of the cars do that. Nope, nothing. We'll get no such pleasure out of that car. All right, here we go. Let's switch the vehicles. Um, the semi-truck freezes uh, everything, so I'm not going to be doing that. This one was fun, the burn side. Let's do the lead sled, which is what I use usually when I use this car because it's a cool-looking car. All right, here we go. All right. Let's just pop this in here. This thing is so incredibly long. It's a very nice looking car though, inside and out. Like the interiors are amazing in this game. All right, here we go. That's all I needed to do. Okay, so let's uh, let's start crushing this. We gotta scoot it over this way. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh snap. Yep, it, it caught on fire. It really did. Oh, and the engine was still moving. Oh, now it's not anymore. Wow, that is, uh, that's one piece of wreckage, I guess. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to... Like, I'll do a lot of this stuff later. I'm just kind of showing off a lot of stuff. We're going to change this into a large cannon, and hopefully that car... Ah, oh, crap. Let's see. Um, yep. Boop. There we go. And now we will always start here. So let's just pop this thing in. I would reverse it in, but that's just extra work. Let's just pop this thing right in here. So, in case you couldn't tell, this is a vehicle cannon. It, uh, it launches vehicles. It's honestly straightforward. I'm not expecting you guys to be um, dumb and not know what the heck a vehicle cannon means. All right, here we go. Let's do a nice, like, 45-degree angle, and then we will go into slow motion, and then I'll hold the space bar to launch this car into oblivion. And yes, the sound effects are overwhelming when you go into slow motion, at least if you have your volume up, so I apologize. Um, but there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I could turn the sound effects off, but where's the fun in that? All right, here we go. And this is in slow motion, so this may look really slow, but this is really fast. There we go. Let's go back into a uh, little bit slower than real time speed. Let's switch back to this vehicle, actually. There we go. Let's go a little bit faster. Holy crap. This car really flies. All right, here we go. Now let's watch this impact here in slow motion because what other way would you watch an impact? And there's got to be sparks. I'm sure of it. There we go. Plenty of sparks. This car just got mulched. Oh, man. Like, look at that. The tire, like, flying up into the air. Let's, let's go a little bit faster. There we go. You can see the sparks racing across the ground now and some smoke. That tire is just, is free. It has been bound to this car for too long. And some more sparks, of course. Those sparks haven't completely dissipated yet. There we go. And the cannon is way over there. We've got to do this in real speed. Let's do that now. So, back to real time. Okay, let's see if we can get similar distance again. Let's uh, reset the cannon, and then we will... 
Oh. Whoops, I wasn't in real time. It was just starting to make weird noises. All right, here we go. Oh, man, look at that turn in there. That was so beautiful. All right, let's hop on in here. All right, so nice 45 degree angle. And now when we shoot it, I'll have to hit tab. There we go. Oh my gosh. This cannon shoots this car farther than any car I've used so far, as far as I remember. Although, to be honest, I've never done it at a 45 degree angle before, and that'll usually get the best velocity and trajectory. All right, so let's, uh, let's use a different car. Let's use a nice small one. Uh, oh, tab is shoot. Oh, oh, shoot the cannon. Pew, pew, pew. All right, so let's uh, let's lower the cannon. I accidentally hit tab instead of escape, so if you were wondering what the heck was going on, that was that. Um, let's see. Let's switch to this car, maybe. No, let's use let's use the sunburst. The 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 regular one, not not any, not anything special. All right, here we go. This car might actually work better facing the other direction, but doesn't really matter to me. All right, so that'll roll it into place. A good 45 degrees, and let's slow it down to like eight times, and then we'll fire, and then switch. There we go. And now full speed until we hit the ground. Holy crap. This is so insane. All right, and slow motion. Dang, that just got ripped apart. I meant to slow it down a little bit before I impacted. Holy crap. All right, and then through the air. And then a little impact with the ground before the huge one. All right, huge impact. Boop. Oh, man. That just ripped that thing out. Okay, here we go. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> there we go. And that is the uh, final result of the car cannon. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some more uh, of... I guess it doesn't matter what vehicle I create... Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two more vehicles, put them in some more locations. Um, let's move this one up here. Whoop. And then, well, actually, let's use, yeah, this car to spawn another Barstow. Spawn new. And now you'll see um, what I'm talking about in a second. But I'm going to try something. All right. Now, the only reason I use this car is because I can actually... Well, I want to make sure it's lined up. Okay, good. It is. I want to make this into a wall. <laughs> uh, cinder block wall. So this one should be fine. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Okay, good. And then this car, I'll actually change into a truck now. I just wanted to spawn something until I, or like quickly, and so I didn't really think about what I wanted yet. All right, there we go. Big truck. And now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can shoot it into the back of the truck. I've only got like one shot at this, so I probably should have practiced this beforehand. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, that's probably fine. All right. And then hopefully, if I at least hit the truck, the force will push it into the cinder block wall. So let's uh, lock the brake for a second. As soon as it stops jittering around, we can let go. And then we'll open this up uh, using... Whoops. 
That was the wrong button. It's Y and U that does it, not U and I. U and I free spawn the friggin' vehicle. Okay. So, let's just do it now. Y and U. Well, U and Y, I pushed them in that order. Wait. Let's put them back so I can actually see where the heck I am. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. Let's once again get up here. And then we'll put our parking brake on for a second. There we go. All right, it stopped wiggling. Now let's open up these. Good, let it stop wiggling. All right, now let off the parking brake. Switch to the cannon. Let's lower it. Now I'm really hoping this works, you guys, because this would be an amazing finale to this episode. All right, here we go. All right, so, five, four, three, two, one, firing cannon. <laughs> In slow motion, of course. Crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> My life is complete now, and I destroyed the cinder block wall. Holy crap. Okay, so that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was ridiculous. I'm gonna try um, some more stuff in my own free time, and then I will uh, get back with you guys for my channel uh, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? All right. So, I will see all of you guys in the next one. Goodbye.